you guys already know what it is. It's another day, another story time. Because for some reason, like, my story time videos are, like, you guys is some of, like, your favorite videos. Like, it's awesome. I love that you guys love these. So I'm going to try to keep doing more of these. Not always the most exciting stuff happens in my life. But when it do, you guys will be the first to know. And that's the case with this story right here. So let's rewind time a little bit and take you back to last Friday. Actually, uh, Friday, this, like, four days ago. I, I, I can't keep track of time. So for those of you guys who don't know, I have a big group of friends that I play games with and uh, we've just been really good friends for a while and we love to hang out and do stuff. But every now and then we try to plan a big trip to go hang out with each other and just like spend the weekend together, you know, just hang out as friends, get out of town and just have a good weekend just hanging out with all my friends. So we plan to go to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And for those of you guys who aren't like on the East Coast or haven't been to Gatlinburg, let me just tell you, Gatlinburg is like the tourist trap of the mountains. For those of you guys who live in the Southeast, you know, it is the Myrtle Beach of the mountains. Mountains. For those of you guys who don't know about Myrtle Beach, uh, anyone from outside of South Carolina wants to come to Myrtle Beach, and anyone in South Carolina avoids Myrtle Beach like it's the plague. It's just a very touristy town. Yes, it's beautiful and pretty up there, but it's it's very touristy. There's lots of stuff to do, lots of like small amusement park kind of things you can do, mini golf, like shows, theater kind of things. It's very, very touristy. But honestly, it's pretty fun to go stay at, especially when you're staying up in the mountains in a cabin with your friends. It's just, it's very cozy and it's just, it's a fun, good time. So we've been planning this trip for a while. We went and got a cabin last summer and we did it through Airbnb and it was super fun. We had a great time, no issues. But this time we booked a different cabin, obviously. We wanted somewhere different. And so we booked this one and we had it this weekend and it was from Friday to today, Monday, technically. We actually just got back this morning. Well, at least some people did. Uh, I'll, I'll get to that part. So yeah, we were super looking forward to it. And we got up there on Friday afternoon. And let me just give a little background of what was happening or what was going to happen this weekend. So we had about like 15, 16 people going to this cabin. Like it, it was a big group, but this was also a big house. And it had, it said it slept 16 people. So we were fully prepared and we knew it was going to be a lot of people. We knew it was going to be good, but we'd also planned that night, Friday night, a little get together with some of our friends who live nearby also. We'd also planned for some people to come up and meet us there and they weren't spending the night. It was just a quick little thing like, hey, let's get some dinner and hang out for a little while. They're not spending the night, they're gonna leave and then all the people who are actually staying at the cabin will stay and spend the night, of course. So yeah, we did technically get above 16 at a couple times, but those people who were pushed us above the limit weren't staying. They were gonna leave later. So that's just a little background that'll feed a little bit more into the story coming up. So we got there probably around like right at four o'clock and some of our friends who are gonna be there for a little while who were gonna leave, they also were there around four o'clock too. The guy who booked the cabin, our friend Matthew, who's the, you know, the Airbnb listing is in, in his name, he wasn't gonna be there until around like seven, 7.30 because he had to wait till he could get off work. So around 4.20, we get a call from Matthew because Matthew's on his way up. And he said that the owner had called him already. And we're like, okay, that's kind of weird. And he said the owner was complaining that people were parking in the grass and that they had saw it on the cameras. Now that's not a big deal. I mean, honestly, um, some places don't mind, some do. So I wasn't worried about, you know, them being upset about us parking in the grass. They hadn't mentioned it in the rules or anything, but we we're like, oh, it's no problem, we'll move the cars. But then it started to kind of click in my brain. I was like, wait a second, how did they know that we were parking in the grass and then we found out they had looked on their security camera to see and then I noticed the camera the camera was aimed out over the driveway going down to the garage area and it was just aimed out there but what was weird is when we had looked at the Airbnb listing there was no mention of any security cameras so first we're like okay it's not that big of a deal a lot of people have cameras near the garage that's not a big deal so I mean, we were a little annoyed, but we're like, we're not going to worry about it. So we move our cars. Everyone's parked on the driveway. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of cars because we had a lot of people who drove separately or individually. So there was a lot of cars on the driveway. And we kind of went on with our thing, kind of getting ready for, you know, everyone to hang out for a little bit. Let me specify. It is not a party. And it was never at, one, at any point a party. It was literally just a get together talking eating dinner. That was all it was. A little while later after the first phone call from Matt, we get another phone call from his girlfriend because his girlfriend was riding in the front seat with him and he was driving. And if you know anything about the mountains of Tennessee, you need to focus while you're driving. So it was probably a good thing he wasn't actually talking on the phone. It was his girlfriend talking for us. But anyway, so she says they got another call from the owner and the owner looked on the camera and had counted on the camera that there were way too many cars in the driveway. And they said, quote, that they counted 21 people at the at the cabin that we were staying at multiple things about this first of all one there was not 21 people there at most at that at that point there was only 16 people there like you know there were people who hadn't even showed up not even the people who were spending the night were there yet 
So at most, there was 16 people there. Second of all, there's no rules that they had stated about how many cars you could have in the driveway. So I don't understand why that's a big deal and why they're complaining about that. But I felt bad for our friend Matthew to, that he's getting hounded and just, you know, and harassed by these owners that we aren't, we have barely even been there an hour and they've already called him twice, nagging him about stuff that quote unquote, we are obeying. We're obeying the rules at that point. We hadn't broken any rules. And to make things even worse, Matthew is not only getting calls from the owner, he is also getting calls from the management company that is technically made the listing for the house on Airbnb. So like there's the owners who actually own the house and then the Airbnb listing is through a management company that like listed it for them and did all the pictures and stuff like that. And not even was he just getting conflicting calls, the information was different. Like he might be hearing one thing from the management company and the owners might be saying something else. It was just an absolute nightmare for Matthew to have to deal with that. Thankfully, not to spoil the rest of the story, but we didn't hear from them the rest of the time we're in the cabin but like not to be getting like you know two three phone calls within an hour of us the time we're supposed to be getting there just harassing about stuff that we weren't even quote unquote breaking the rules about super frustrating and very unprofessional now here's where the real drama comes in i left i had to leave on saturday afternoon because i had to work on sunday so i drove back but friday night we had been hanging out in the hot tub of this of this cabin because the cabin had a hot tub on the back porch you know we we hung out in there for a little while talked for a while got came back inside Nothing wrong with that. Turns out on Saturday after I had left when they hot tubbed, they discovered that there was a second camera on the house. And the second camera was on the back porch aiming towards the hot tub. This camera was aiming towards the hot tub. Y'all can't tell me that that is not a little creepy and honestly a little invasive. Like, does anyone truly want a camera aimed at them while they're, uh, you know, hanging out in a hot tub with their friends? We were just, we were so weirded out, man. Um, It, it really kind of, it really rubbed us the wrong way. So we kind of wanted to look more into this. Now, I've stayed at quite a few Airbnbs and I've really never had any issues with hosts, but this, this one kind of takes the cake. <laughs> so we look up the terms of service on Airbnb's website because we want to make sure we're in the right, we're not, you know, throwing any blame where it's not due. According to the Airbnb website and their terms of service, owners have to disclose that they have security cameras on their property. Sure enough, we go back to the listing that shows the the house and the cabin, and there is nothing on the listing that says anything about the security cameras. And even if you went to the safety section where it talks about the home safety, there is a little like part that says like security cameras on property, and it was crossed out. So we weren't too thrilled about this. Now, I wasn't here for this part, this next part of the conversation, so let me preface, this is speculation. We don't know for sure if this is true or not, so take this part with a grain of salt. I did study media law in school, so I, I understand a little bit of what they're talking about, but I don't know the validity of what this is, or what they research right here. Apparently, some of the friends who were also at the cabin after I left, they said they looked up, and in the state of Tennessee, it's considered a felony to have a camera aimed at a hot tub uh, because it is an understood area of privacy. Again, Again, we don't know the validity of that and I don't know how accurate that is but take that with a grain of salt either way it's just super weird <laughs> to know that the people could have looked at any time we were in this hot tub on their security cameras and just watched us so yeah that's creepy. So it comes to today. Um, we're all home and we're all back from the cabin, but we were not too pleased about that. And that was definitely the weirdest Airbnb stay we've ever had. So we won't be going back there again. Upon a uh, further review, the listing only had one review of this place, which I'm honestly surprised we booked it, that it only had one review. So we think these people might be new to hosting and this might be their first Airbnb, which the company that hosted it, they have like hundreds of reviews and a bunch of listings. So I think they've been doing this for a while, but I think the people who actually own the house I think this might be their first time. And I think that's probably where a lot of the issues came. And all I can say to those people is you guys don't know what you're in for. If you're that concerned over, you know, a couple friends spending, you know, a weekend at your house. Yeah, I don't think Airbnb is the place for you guys. I think you guys need to pull your listing and maybe consider doing something else. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, where we're at. Uh, I'm going to talk with our friend Matthew Knight. We're definitely going to reach out to Airbnb support and see if there's anything they can do. I don't know if it's where to just notify the owners or what, but the fact that they didn't to disclose the cameras is honestly a huge no-no and we need to we need something about that needs to be addressed and i think that's a big issue so thank you guys for listening to this beautiful story time i know it's been a while since i've done one but again as stories come up i will definitely keep y'all in the loop with stories like that so again thank you guys for watching be sure to drop a sub if you want to keep hearing more stories that come up in the future and drop a like on the video if you like this story and let me let me hear y'all's thoughts do y'all think it's creepy that there's cameras on the house like in my mind i'm not too creeped out about the camera on the driveway that's normal but dude the hot tub 
the one that that kind of rubs me the wrong way and that's weird but yeah again thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a fantastic day i will catch y'all in the next video peace out